I am out here on my porch today because I have been wanting to make a video about how I make my banana ice cream. And it's such a nice day today, so I just wanted to be outside. So to make banana ice cream, you will definitely need about six ripe bananas. They need to be at least this ripe where they have spots on them and preferably organic, they taste better. So what I do is the night before I make an ice cream, I peel my six bananas or seven or eight sometimes, depending on the size of the banana. And I have them and then I put them in a big Ziploc baggie like this. And the morning that I want to have my banana ice cream, I take my bag of bananas out of the freezer about 30 minutes before I'm going to blend. For this video, I'll show you how to make banana ice cream in a Vitamix and um, the techniques I use in the Vitamix. But you can definitely use a food processor or just any blender, I think. If the bananas are soft enough, you probably could just use a normal blender. Um, and so also today I'm going to be adding spearmint. Um, a friend of mine gave this to me last night and I'm so excited. Um, I think I'm going to plant some of it, but some of it I'm going to use for my ice cream today. I've actually been using just my normal mint plant a lot for my ice cream um, and that's been amazing. And I'm just going to switch it up a little bit because I have this. And then I'm also going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla and I don't really get picky with my vanilla, um, but today I'm just using this Simply Organic vanilla flavoring, <laughs> um, non-alcoholic vanilla flavoring. Also, today I'm going to be adding sea moss, and this is completely optional, just like the mint is, just like technically the vanilla is, um, but I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of sea moss. The reason that I add sea moss is because Sea moss contains 92 of the 102 minerals and nutrients that we need. Um, so I think that's really amazing. Um, what I also use is earmuffs because I try to protect my ears from my Vitamix. Um, and just because I'm around old people with uh, difficulty hearing a lot. And I really don't want to lose my hearing because it really is not fun. Um, and you'll definitely need your tamper from your Vitamix, so. All right, so to my blender, I'm going to add the bananas. And these ones have been thawed out much longer than they usually are, um, because I've been outside filming this. I've been trying to put them back and forth. Um, so these are gonna be softer. And then I'm going to add some mint leaves. So take the leaves off of the stem. The stem can be bitter, so you don't want to put the stem in there, just the leaves. And just a handful is good. When you're using about six or seven bananas, you can use about, let's see, say at least that much mint. Ooh, and that spearmint is really strong, so probably less is more with that one. And then I'm going to add about two tablespoons of my sea moss. So great for skin, hair, and nails, and cognitive health. And then a little splash of vanilla, so I just eyeball it. Ooh, probably too much vanilla, but it'll be extra tasty. So what you'll do is you'll keep your Vitamix on the lowest setting the entire time and you'll just keep tampering the bananas down until your bananas have reached their desired consistency, um, a smooth ice cream consistency. And I just wait until I see the funnel in the middle happening and then I know it's done. And the thing you wanna do is stop when that happens, when it's reached its desired consistency, don't blend it beyond that point because it'll actually be less sweet the more you blend it. So you definitely don't want to blend it beyond the point of like its perfect texture. So just stop right there. Also, just so you know, the Vitamix has a feature that allows it to not get overheated. So actually, if your bananas are really frozen, they um, it might take way more energy for the Vitamix to blend them and then it will get overheated and what happens is it just turns off and it's so nice. All you do is just go back 15 minutes later, 
and turn it back on, you know, turn it all the way off if it gets overheated and stops. And then just turn it right back on 15 minutes later and try again and it will likely be able to blend. Um, and then your bananas will be a little bit more thought out by then anyway. So yeah, so it's for, it's fine for me because for me, I'm home for like two hours before I leave the house in the morning. Or, you know, I'm awake for about two hours before I leave the house in the morning. So I just time it accordingly, you know. I try to time my blending for just right before I'm about to, like 10 minutes before I'm about to leave. Um, that way my banana and ice cream is as cold and frozen as possible. And then I just throw my banana and ice cream in one of these insulated cups and it keeps it really cold. So I can, you know, usually I just eat it right away because it's so good, but I could wait like an hour or two and it would still be delicious. It would taste like a vanilla milkshake. Okay, so now I will get blending and this will probably take no time at all to blend because the bananas have been sitting out from the freezer for so long and um, being outside today with me. So this has reached more like a milkshake consistency, so I'm just going to put it in one of these glasses today. Um, but this only happened because I was outside for so long. Oh, that didn't make it blended all the way. Okay. Oh man, this is actually like really perfect today. I think I'm going to have to go get a straw for this. Mm. Okay, so it turned into a banana mint shake today, but every other day it's an ice cream, so I'll put a little clip on here of what it looks like when One more tip that I think is helpful is that you really need to have a good banana game if you want to have banana and ice cream for breakfast every day. So that means that you have to have like six bunches of bananas in your house at one time, preferably all at different stages um, because it's really hard to find ripe bananas at the store. So ahead of time you need to buy non-ripe bananas so that they'll be ripe when you want to eat them, but then you always have ripe ones to eat the next day um, because you'll just always have to have one bunch of bananas, like six or seven bananas each night that are ripe to put in your freezer overnight. And so that's part of the game too, is like remembering before you go to bed um, to put them in your freezer. So yeah, so it's been really fun kind of getting into that habit. Um, and once you have it, you have it. Like once it's part of your routine to make sure to buy like three or four bunches of bananas every time you go to a grocery store, and then also make it part of your routine to put bananas in the freezer every night before bed. Um, yeah, it's a game changer. And then you'll just be full all day and then anything else you eat will just be fun. That's kind of how I think of it. Like I try to get all my calories in early in the day and then I don't really have to like feel hungry the rest of the day. If I just eat this, um, then I feel awesome the rest of the day. Anything I else I eat is just like for fun or for, extra nutrients and um, obviously greens are really important so I eat a big salad at night um, but greens are like my salad is more for the minerals than the calories but this is really amazing for the calories and I just kind of laugh at myself because I went like two almost two and a half years listening to other raw vegans talk about how important bananas are um, without actually like trying and living that out and eating like literally eight bananas in a day for like several days in a row, you know? Like I had eaten eight bananas in a day like inconsistently, but when you start to consistently eat like eight bananas a day or more in some cases, depending on like your size and your activity throughout the day, 
um, it really starts to add up and you just start to feel like more and more amazing the more and more bananas you eat <laughs> consistently. So yeah, cheers. Having the right spatula really helps. Um, so this particular spatula is just the right shape and it's soft enough to get things out of the Vitamix out of the bottom and the side so you feel like you're not like missing out on any of the nice cream that you made. Um, and I've heard too that Vitamix actually sells a spatula for getting things out of the bottom. Um, and then I use this spatula to get all of the nice cream out of my insulated mug too. And so what I do is I drive to work and eat my nice cream. That way when I get to work I'm really full um, and then I'm not thinking about food until like one o'clock. So even I could probably go longer, but it's just fun to eat at like one o'clock because I can. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if my videos resonate with you at all. If you get anything out of it, I would really love if you could subscribe or just like my video. Um, that would mean a lot to me. Thanks.